everybody. Yes, I added festive jingles to my intro. And I don't care if I'm too early, I'm enjoying it. Don't worry, it won't last past December. I'll take them out after. But I want to start off this video by thanking you so much for being here. As of tomorrow, 19th of November, it will be a whole year of me being in YouTube. And I can't believe it's been a year already. <laughs> I can't believe over 700 of you are interested in what I do. That's like, I think I'm, I'm picturing 700 people, how much that is. And I'm the only thing I can think of is my high school auditorium. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Talking in public there was not my favorite thing to do. But I'm just, I'm so happy to be making content for all of you, making content for myself. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I'm still having fun with it. I hope there's many more years to come through this. I've learned a lot in this past year. I got a new set of lights. You can see me normally, finally. By the way, I don't know how beauty bloggers do it. This ring though. So that's why I wanted to make something extra special and celebrate with you. Uh, I've been wanting to do ink reviews for a while and I just kept putting it off, kept thinking like, ah, oh, maybe nobody cares, but I care and I think a lot of people care about inks. Uh, the one that I'm reviewing today is a pretty popular one, so you could find tons of reviews out there. But I figured maybe my opinion could be helpful for someone. Also, as part of the one year celebration, I will be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned till the end of this video to find out how to win your very own bottle of Emerald of Shibor, brand new. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into the video. On to the review, let's start with the box. So Emerald of Shivor comes in the 1670 collection box from J.R. Bond, which is white with gold line art drawings all around the box. It has a variety of designs. You can see them all here, but a lot of it has to do with the sea. And then in that teal color that matches the ink, we see the 1670, the J.R. Bond logo. And then on the top of the box, there's this little diamond. We open the box and then we see the bottle which of course it's it's stunning it's a gorgeous bottle i haven't met anyone who dislikes the look of this bottle however the one thing that i've heard multiple people complain about this bottle for is once you open it the size of the opening from which you would fill your converter or your pen it is tiny tiny to the point that some pens don't even properly fit so you have to fill either just the converter or your using a syringe or put the ink somewhere else to fill it but the bottle is not the smartest design in terms of usability but it is beautiful it's 50 ml which i think it's perfect not too much you're not gonna have ink laying around in 20 years that you still haven't used so that's the only complaint really the good thing about it is that they did address this for the 1798 collection which is the newer ones the past two years for those the opening of the bottle is bigger and they're for that complaint is gone. As far as the shade of the color, it is a teal. That's the best way to describe it. And it's very much of a cool teal. I don't have a whole lot of inks in this color range, so I don't have a lot to compare it to. But the closest one out of the inks that I have tried is the Robert Oster River of Fire. As you can see, River of Fire is more on the warm side. It looks more green compared to Emerald of Shibor. And then when I put next to it what I would consider a true green, the Hiroshizuku Shinryoku, you can see how River of Fire would be the closest green to this particular teal. And then for those of you who use dip pens, I wanted to compare it to the manuscript Emerald Green, just because they both have the word Emerald in their name, and they look nothing alike, <laughs> other than somewhat in the range of the green color. This collection from J.R. Bond is known for being shimmery. So Emerald of Shivor has gold shimmer particles, and then and depending on the pen and the paper combination, it does also have a red sheen. Now the pens that we're going to use today to test out the zinc are a Jinhao 450 with a Goulet extra fine nib, a Nemocene Singularity with a medium nib, a Conkling Durograph pen with a Goulet broad nib, and a Jinhao 999 Dragon pen with a Goulet 1.5 nib. I did not intend to use Goulet nibs for everything in this, well not everything, the Nemocene has the Nemocene nib, but 
like with shimmery inks, I do prefer to put them in pens that I can take apart to clean because it just makes it simpler. The shimmer particles do get a bit stuck in the feed, so it's just easier for me to clean it if I can take it apart. Now, the writing experience with this ink highly, highly depends and varies on the paper. On good paper, this is a really fun ink to use. You see sheen, you see shimmer. It's just not boring at all. There's so much visual interest in it. However, as soon as you go to a slightly less good quality paper, and by slightly less, I'm not talking like printer paper, right? I'm talking like the difference between Tomoe River paper and Rhodia paper. Rhodia being a paper known for being good with fountain pens. It just does not perform as well. Then it just becomes a uh, not very manageable teal ink. <laughs> because in bad paper, not bad paper, again, I love Rhodia paper, but in most papers, the sheen won't really come out. The shimmer doesn't stand out as much as it would on Midori or Tomoe River paper, and it just feathers very easily. It bleeds extremely easily. It's not the most well-behaved ink. And you'd think that that would mean that it's not that much of a favorite for people. I guess that goes to show how special this ink is when it comes to the shimmer and the sheen, because honestly, I can't use this ink that much. It's I can't use it for work. There's no way it's gonna be able to perform well with the paper. I can't use it in most of my journals because it's just gonna bleed all over the place. It stains the fingers quite easily, as you may notice, my inky fingers during this video, because I just filled the Conklin one right before filming. But it's all worth it. It's honestly all worth it when you take especially a stub nib and you wait for it to dry and nice paper and you see how much dimension there is to it to the point that, you know what, if I were stuck with this ink forever, the rest of my life, in this particular stub nib pen, I, I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that as long as I have an endless supply of Tomar River paper. Then we're good. <laughs> Alright, so the reason why I am choosing Emerald of Shivor as my first ink review, it's because this is basically the ink that got me into fountain pens in the first place, so it has a very special place in my collection for that reason. I already owned a few calligraphy fountain pens, like the Pilot Parallel and the Manuscript Calligraphy Pen, but I hadn't actually gotten into the fountain pen hobby until I found, I don't remember how I stumbled upon, Brian Goulet's video on shimmering inks, and I saw this ink and I was in love, so about a week after having received the ink, I went out and got my first fountain pen. So you can see here in the close-ups how prevalent that shimmer is. The sheen in this particular paper is really mostly seen, which is interesting. You can see the sheen better with the extra fine nib. You see how it just looks redder than the rest. But then the shimmer comes out way more with the stub. And then now in the bottom, I'm just doing a quick terrible doodle of my Galleon logo. If you haven't noticed, it's the one that it's on the bottom right corner of every video. But I'm just doing this really quick to test out uh, how it reacts to water. Now, Emerald of Shivor is not waterproof by any means, so it makes it really fun to draw with along with water. So you can see how easily it spreads around with water. It's just a fun way to shade. And then as far as other papers, here I'm showing you the ink on Tomo River paper, on Rhodia, and then on Claire Fontaine paper. You can see here on the Tomo River paper that it really brings out the red sheen. Just above everything else, the red sheen looks amazing here. The Claire Fontaine I consider to be a good in-between. There's good shimmer here, there's decent sheen, but there's a good balance of all the properties of the ink. And then the Rhodia, like I said, quite disappointing. That's why I didn't do this review on Rhodia. That's why I did it on the Midori sketchbook. So finally, on to the giveaway. 
you would win this brand new bottle of J.R. Bond Emerald of Chivore. I did open the box in the video, you saw me opening it. Actually, the original box from my personal bottle, I don't know what I did with it. Threw it out, lost it. So the box is yours. The ink bottle I have not opened though, so it's brand new, ready for you to use. Now, to enter, very simple, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and then leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite ink is and why. Or maybe what your favorite ink right now is, because I know all of us have like 10, 20 different favorite inks and it's hard to pick one, so I will make it super hard for you. Just either, if you have an ultimate favorite, tell me that, tell me why. And if it's just like the one you're into right now, like right now actually the one that I can't stop using is Cornell India Egypt. Uh, from the later collection of J.R. Bon Shimmering Inks. So that would be my answer, but tell me yours. This giveaway will be open for a whole week. So basically right before I post my next video on Sunday, which is going to be, by the way, December bullet journal setup. So stay tuned for that. So you have a whole week to enter. I will pick a winner on Sunday morning. Also including your comment, your Instagram handle, because that'd be helpful in terms of me being able to contact you if you win. I can't think of any other way to contact you. If anybody has more knowledge into how to do giveaways here, please tell me. <laughs> you can include that in the comment too. This is the first time, so my plan is literally putting all your names in like a hat and picking out a name. That's what I'm gonna do. Instagram stories, Sunday morning, that's what's happening. Yes, I like that. Sounds fun. Have a fantastic rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!